Hey guys, this is Chris Dixon, Senior Editor with Power and Motor Yacht Magazine. We are here in Miami and I'm going to show you a quick sneak preview of the Leopard 40 PC, brand new boat from Leopard Boats of South Africa and from Moorings as well. Uh, Moorings, this will be called the 403, Leopard calls it the 40 PC, but it's essentially a very similar if not the same boat. So let's go step aboard. So. This boat has a ton of features, as you can probably imagine. I'm going to go by some of my notes um, that were provided through an earlier tour of the boat with the folks from Leopard, but there's a lot of really cool little touches on this boat, and also you know, sort of an interesting incremental increase in, in technology with it. These boats are designed to be used by charter operations for the mooring, so they have to be standardized, very reliable, and very easy to work on. The premiums on this boat are in durable, really well-made materials, um, composites for countertops and cabinets and things like that, um, and then very easy access to components from the motor to the gen set to the 5,000 watt Victron Pure Sign Inverter. They make these boats so that they are really, really serviceable and, and also seaworthy as we discovered down in South Africa. The 40 is Leopard's smallest boat. This is a new model for them and uh, it's a three cabin boat. It has a, a single master suite in the starboard um, pontoon, which we'll see real quick, and then it has a uh, two guest single bath suite in the port pontoon um, and it, it's an interesting sort of use of technology with this boat in terms of its power management. Um, the Victron 5000 watt inverter powers all of the most all of the um, well it powers all the AC equipment but it's able to blend power from at least 1600 watts of solar on the roof and you can get even more than that um, and it can send that power either to a bank of AGM standard lead acid or lithium uh, iron phosphate batteries which is really really cool and it it blends the power so if you don't have enough power coming in to the batteries the genset will can take over and 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 boost the power for the system but it also has like I said, a lot of solar. It's an, it's, it's an interesting sort of middle point, I would say, between going completely uh, generator free and also though being able to, to power components like a full-size refrigerator with an ice maker, a dishwasher, which interestingly enough actually uses, they found less water than um, hand washing the dishes yourself convection microwave oven and um, and this is a an electric induction stovetop so this boat and these these leopard boats can actually be had with no propane at all if you want you can also have them with a with a propane system but because the electrical systems are getting so robust on these boats um, if you don't want to deal with the the hassle and potential dangers of propane um, you can you can pretty much go all electric here uh, we've got <coughs> this boat has got um, as far as inside the cabin goes this one is just a coffee table here but you can also get a um, a fold-out full table set up in here for dining on the set in the in the settee area and this is this becomes a single berth um, the other larger leopard boats have a double berth here additional for guests but this is just a single um, a small helm but it is very fully featured they call this kind of the storm helm because normally they expect people will be piloting from the boat the boat from up top but you know this is a this is a fully featured fully functional electronic switching helm um, and one of the uh, key features on all the leopard power cats is a front passage door that as we saw today um, and we're seeing now it's just incredibly comfortable in here there's a beautiful breeze blowing in off the Atlantic and it's coming right through here and it's a it's a super super robust door um, as we found in South Africa when we actually took these took these boats out it's it absolutely silent and weatherproof 
when you're navigating this boat uh, in some weather, that, which is what we also saw in South Africa. Out here on the deck, there's, there's huge storage. I mean, it, it, it kind of blows my mind. Um, I'll show you just real quick one of the storage areas on here. Um, <clears throat> it's probably, I think I'm six feet tall and I could stand up in here. And there's another storage area here. The windlass for the anchors here. There's more, I mean, there's just, there's storage everywhere. This is actually set up for propane tanks if you want them. And then on the, um, on the deck itself with the sun pads, these are made to be basically left out here all the time. They're made out of a really durable material and the, uh, the, the pad itself folds down in an aerodynamic way. So if you've got a strong headwind coming on, you just snap it down and you're good to go. Um, let's move inside and downstairs real quick. We'll give you guys a look at the master stateroom first. Actually, no, I'm sorry. This is the guest stateroom. Let's take a look at this first. One neat feature of this stateroom is the bed is pretty high, but that also gives you two massive drawers um, underneath. It's got a full-size bath. An equally large size. And the stern. One feature with the master suite that apparently is popular with some buyers is with the moorings and, um, and the charter folks, they typically want a vanity here. But if, you, if you're going to be a live aboard, you're going to be spending a lot of time on the boat, they can also design this with full drawers. As far as the bath goes, as you guys can see, this is a really full size, nicely appointed bath. One of the really interesting features that I thought in terms of engineering, I'll show you guys real quick. Um, <clears throat> so this may seem unsexy, but it's vital and it's, 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 it shows the engineering of these boats. This is a completely sealed um, lower bulkhead that it, it goes all the way down to the water line here this is a crush zone so if this boat god forbid was to hit a shipping container or some other really solid thing that damaged one of the pontoons it's completely sealed and therefore you'd be able to to you know hopefully at least be underway if not you'd at least be floating <laughs> if you had a collision they can also install a washer dryer in there. And let's check out the flybridge. So here we have a really nicely appointed flybridge with a lot, a lot of seating area. Very nice U-shaped settee, um, sink, refrigerator, and a Kenyan electric grill up top. And then the helm is, will actually seat three people, twin screen. The future iterations of this boat, this one does not have it, um, but almost, I, if I understand it, all the future iterations are actually going to have a joystick control um, here at the helm. And there will be, so 
instead of a bow thruster and separate throttle control here, you'll have your throttle, but then you'll also have a full joystick right here. And the other thing that's cool about this to me is this can be completely enclosed in, um, in a clear zippered plastic, uh, making the entire upper deck uh, weatherproof if you need to. So that's a quick preview of the Leopard 40. Again, I'm Chris Dixon, Power and Motor Yacht. See you guys on the water.